Hoffman. Well, lately, stuff's been, I mean, I, I started out on stuff when I was in college, um, painting people just like, you know, face forward, almost like Chuck Close would do. But I, I mean, I, I would, you know, I, I wanted to be like, I guess I want to paint people in like an honest way, you know, like I want people to be dignified. So in that respect, I mean, really, my art's not, I mean, the, these ideas aren't like, you know, over the top, like, you know, philosoph philosophical or anything like that. I just want to, you know, paint people and, and like represent them in like a dignified way, you know, and paint like everyday people instead of, you know, like the old art, which was to paint like royalty and people that had money, you know, like, I think I, I find much more value in painting like everyday people and people I know and painting myself. Um, but I'm also always really, really concerned about like like scale. Like I always want to become better, and I always want to become a better painter. So painting people is a great way to do that because they're really complicated, <laughs> you know, like the structure of people's faces and stuff like that, and fabric, obviously. And um, yeah, I mean, ever since I got back from you know Antarctica, I've wanted to paint people from Antarctica because people don't really do that. If you look at like painting, I mean, there's not a whole lot of it, but the people that make paintings in Antarctica, they almost always paint uh, like landscapes or they make paintings of penguins you know and all that stuff where when I went to Antarctica I was much more I mean I was obviously affected by the environment and like the isolation of it because it's amazing but uh, I was definitely much more concerned with like you know what does Antarctic portraiture look like and you know I just it's it seems like a like a like a, a, a thing that hasn't been carved out yet so it's like something that somebody hadn't done and it was just like you know perfect like I could, I could fit I could do that role you know and so I basically just paint like the people around me, you know, and paint my friends. And ever since I got back from, I, I shot a bunch of photographs in Antarctica to work from before I left because I knew that when I came back, I was going to have all this time on my hand, all this time on my hands before I redeploy again. And I thought, well, I'll just, you know, I, I'm in such a situation where I can just paint all summer. I don't have to get a job or that'll be my job. So I definitely brought all these people back from Antarctica to paint them. And, um, that's exactly what I did, you know, I did studies of my friends and paintings of those people and I think there's like a, I mean there's definitely like an, like an educational um, like facet to that because, you know, when you say Antarctica people think one thing or they, don't, or they don't know at all, you know, that there's people down there and they work and living their lives and all that stuff so I wanted to, you know, paint those people and kind of like bring them back and bring them to life and put them to art because nobody else is really doing that, you know, like painting portraits of people down there. So I mean, where I was the first time, there was a ton, tons of people. I mean, it's like a thousand people and you're all packed into this tiny little area, you know, and nobody has their own space. But uh, now I'm going to the South Pole, which is very isolated. There's only maybe like a hundred people there. And now that I know what I'm getting myself into, I'm going to paint there. So I boxed up all my stuff and I actually just shipped it yesterday out to the South Pole. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make paintings there. I'm gonna paint the people there, and I'm gonna make some you know landscapes. There's not really a lot of landscape at the South Pole. It's kind of like a flat white sheet for like 800 miles in every direction. But uh, yeah, I wanna I wanna make paintings from there, and I think it could be like it has the potential to be like one of those really fruitful periods where I could make you know like a breakthrough in one way or another. That's how this last summer was, which is what the paintings are that are in the show. You know, it was really an, an important period for my work. You know, I made a lot of like really good technical advancements and also in like the subject. So I'm hoping that that happens again. You know, I want to, you know, always keep growing in that area, obviously. And I think that living at the South Pole and making paintings is going to be a big part of that. Yeah, that's actually uh, like probably the most important painting I've ever made. I, with the earlier stuff, you know, the back backgrounds are kind of blank and I was worried so much about capturing the likeness that the kind of all the other stuff kind of fell at the wayside. So with that painting, I wanted to, um, I wanted to have a painting that was like I considered all things. So that's like the subject, and then the fabric, the background, and then also the overall composition of it. So that painting is actually based off of uh, the one self-portrait Grant Wood made in his lifetime. And uh, so like the head's cropped off, you know, everything's everything's cropped so that there's good negative space. And then I really concentrated to get the fabric and the hair right, make sure everything was, you know, everything was equal. And that's kind of what Grant, what Grant Wood's paintings, like, like, paintings are like, you know, there's not like, I mean, there's things, there's parts of it that are focused, but it's all handled equally. And same thing with like an Andrew Wyeth painting, everything's handled e equally. Um, my, so I was like, okay, I need to figure all that stuff out before I start, you know, so I did my studies and, you know, I, I wanted to get everything worked out before I started that painting. 
Um, and I need, of course, I needed something to put in the background, and I wanted to make it kind of an Antarctic painting because I had just gotten back from Antarctica, and this was my, that was my big project for the summer. So I probably spent about a month painting that, making that painting. But uh, my parents have this have an, an old lithograph above their above their fireplace, and it's one of the bird lithographs from his Antarctic expedition from I don't know that been like the 1930s. And it's like, I'd never even given a thought to it when I was in high school, you know? I was like, it was just this thing above the fireplace. But after I went to Antarctica, I'm like, oh my God, this is like a really early map of Antarctica. So I had that in front of me, and I was able to, you know, copy it. And then I kind of organized it in a meaningful way in the background. The part where the area where I lived is like right in front of me. And then the portrait of Bird is like right above my shoulder, which is kind of like the people who come before you. And then like, it's got all sorts of little, little stuff like that going on. Like Wilkes Land is cut off, so it just says WI for like Wisconsin, where I'm from. And then uh, you know, try to balance the shapes out and everything. And I mean, it's amazing that the whole thing worked out. I don't <laughs> you know, but it really ended up being like a really meaningful painting for me. And it's probably the, it's probably the best painting I've ever made. I mean, and that's the kind of the direction I want to go is continue to make portraits like that that are where everything is considered. You know, and have you know have something meaningful in the background for whoever the person is. Obviously, where I'm going, it's going to end up being Antarctic stuff because they're all going to be in Antarctica. Um, but that's where I want to move into, is doing more stuff like that. And then other stuff I do is just studies, which is what the people that are kind of like floating around the page look like, more of like in an Egon Sheila kind of way. You know, like Grant Wood meets Egon Sheila, if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, I, I th I've, th I've thought about that too, like going to get my MFA. Um, but I certainly haven't thought about that as much as I've thought about just like, you know, starting up and trying to start up an operation and do like that, you know, for like a year or maybe two before I uh, try to go somewhere to get uh, my master's, but I think it's probably in the cards. It's just not uh, like immediate, you know, it's probably something I'm gonna do down the road a couple more years. And who knows what Antarctica will do to me, we'll see. <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to stay for the whole year, so that'll be like 12 or 13 months. And I'll live at, live at South Pole for the first part, and then I'll live at where I used to live during this, the second long winter part in, in the darkness, so. Might have to make, might have to make more, uh, drawings than paintings. There's just no na there's absolutely no natural light for like seven months. So we'll see how it goes. But I'll have my own space then and I'll be able to like set up a table and have all my materials and definitely will have t you know the time to paint and I'll definitely have the, uh, the quiet. You know it's gonna be very quiet. I, I think that uh, after this time I go to Antarctica I'll probably end up wanting to go again to one place or another even if it's just for the summer. But I have to take Basically, I have to take 12 months off. So that's you know enough for me to go somewhere and get a lease, probably in Milwaukee, maybe in Madison, but I've definitely thought about like getting a studio and doing the gallery thing and contacting you know galleries because I've got some I still have some of those connections, you know, it's, it's certainly in Milwaukee of um, you know I could try to you know submit stuff to Tory Fulliard or whatever. Um, and I've, I've thought about doing that. And also, just economically, like, I'll have saved enough money from working for 13 months. You know, you, there's nowhere to spend money in Antarctica. So you just kind of bank that money. And I can definitely use that as the startup capital to start up, like, an actual serious painting operation. So, which would be an experience within itself, you know. But it would be really wonderful to just, you know, you wake up every day and you, have not, you, know, you, you paint and that's your job, you know. And that'd be wonderful.